This video will demonstrate importing a project into SIX. I'm here in the Project Explorer. You can always get here by going to the Start, Projects, Manage Projects. Go to New and then choose Import Project. Now, um, the purpose for importing a project uh, most likely will be that you're importing a legacy uh, SI 5.5 project that you want to um, either bring over um, to keep in SIX, um, maybe even to immediately archive, but something that you want to reference, or it could be an active um, SI 5.5 project that you're working on that you want to pull over into 6 to take advantage of um, a lot of the new features in 6. So um, it could also be used for um, 6 projects. You may, um, say, outsource a designer that is also using dtools to uh, take one of your project files that uh, you possibly exported, so then there is an export function up here, and they've uh, gone ahead and done the drawings and they want to send them back to you. Uh, the best thing to do would be to import um, that project file. So, uh, anyways, next, um, click Browse to find the file that you want to import. And in this case, I'm going to pull in um, a SI 5.5 project. I'll browse. I'm already here. Go ahead and click. And this is, uh, you're choosing the uh, DTL file. That was the file extension for SI 5 projects. So, this is my path, and this is the default uh, path for SI 5 projects. So I'm pulling in a local project, DTools SI 5 projects here. Choose next. Um, now you're going to see any additional files that are associated with this project. And in this case, there is a Visio drawing. Uh, this would list uh, AutoCAD drawings as well. Uh, down here, if I had any revisions in 5 that I wanted to bring in, um, you know, like if I created change orders um, by using revisions, those would list here. Go ahead and click next. And now you're going to choose your uh, import options here. The uh, project clear options up here are generally. Um, or I should say, they're, they're used for six projects. If you're importing another six project, um, this would clear install fields and schedules. So any tasks associated with the project would be cleared, as well as any um, of our install fields that we have in six, which are, you know, whether or not it's installed, it's a checkbox. Is also there's uh, an install date field. Down here, uh, when importing a project, you can choose to add the uh, products, labor items, and packages from the project automatically to your six catalog. Uh, now, it's not going to overwrite what's in there. So if you're pulling in, say, uh, an older project file and you've updated pricing in your six catalog for those products, it won't overwrite those. It's just going to import uh, what's not existing in your uh, current six catalog. So I'll just go ahead and choose import. And uh, when this is done importing, you can see right now it's saving the products, saving the labor. Um, the form stays open and you can import another project or you can close the form. So now the project file is here. It's uh, been imported. It's automatically been checked into the server. Uh, if you want to begin working on this or even um, viewing it, you can check it out and then you can open the uh, project file. 